to my channel. Today I'm filming a very exciting review on the ColourPop X My Little Pony the eyeshadow palette. Now they came out with a huge collection. I only ended up picking up the eyeshadow palette because that's all I was really interested in. So if you guys are excited to hear my thoughts on the new ColourPop palette, just keep watching. Also, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Karen. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you haven't had a chance yet, go ahead and subscribe down below. I usually upload every other day, so you do get a ton of content from me. And uh, yeah, if you guys are into reviews and hauls and all those ooey gooey favorites from YouTube, this is the channel for you. Anyway, without further blabbering, let's get into this video. So you guys, basically the palette we are going to be talking about today is this little guy right here. This is the fourth installment by ColourPop of their little eyeshadow palettes. They're also coming out with one at the end of October in collaboration with Sephora. It's an all glitter palette. You guys better believe I will be picking that palette up as well. So look forward to that swatch party coming soon. Now as far as this one goes, this is the My Little Pony palette in collaboration with ColourPop and they did the palette with the old ponies which just made my little heart pitter patter because if you guys remember Pure Cosmetics came out with a My Little Pony palette as well. I will pop a picture up in the corner here somewhere and that one featured the new ponies. I didn't really understand the color story with that one. It was like they threw in like every single color of the rainbow. It just did not speak to me on a spiritual level so I was really excited when ColourPop came out with their own collaboration because this one was more cohesive to me and like really I felt like went with the theme of My Little Pony. As far as the brand, this is by the brand ColourPop. Now if you're not familiar with them, I have so many videos on my channel featuring their products. I have all of their little palettes that they've come out with so far. This is the Yes Please palette, this is the Femme Rose palette, and then this is the other palette that they just came out with called the I Think I Love You palette. I personally love the brand. I have really taken a liking to their pressed shadow formula. They basically started out online at ColourPop.com and they're still available online and they're a brand out of California. They're, everything is made in California and they are always coming out with new innovative products. Now they first started off with their Super Shock Shadow Formula. Now they have pressed products. They have Super Shock highlighters, bronzers, pressed powders, pressed highlighters, you name it, they pretty much have everything in their range. They recently came out with concealers that are super, super awesome as well. So honestly, ColourPop, I think they're basically gonna go out on their own and have every product you can think of. I can't wait for ColourPop to come out with a foundation. Honestly, if they just gave me the concealer bottled up in a bigger bottle, I would take it because it's a beautiful concealer. But that's not what we're here to talk about, but I did wanna give you guys some background on this brand. Now a lot of people do have a hard time with ColourPop because they basically launch a new product almost every Thursday and it can be a little hard to keep up and a lot of people do get really frustrated with the brand. I did feel like I was purchasing from them almost every Thursday but I have you know established some self-control and now I usually just buy the palettes. I don't like try to keep up with every single thing. I'm pretty well stocked when it comes to everything else from them and you guys know I'm basically an eyeshadow junkie so I would urge you not to get frustrated with the brand and just pick up what speaks to you you're not going to end up spending more than you would spend at Sephora. So I feel like, yes, it's frustrating because they're constantly coming out with new products. But in the long run, everything is really inexpensive. So can you really be that mad about it? You know what I mean? Where you can find them, again, it's ColourPop.com. I will link the direct link to this palette if you're interested in buying it in the description box. And this launched on October 5th at 10 a.m. on ColourPop.com. And that's the only place I know of that you can get this palette. This is a limited edition collection. So if you do have a chance, you definitely want to pick this up now. And they did come out with a whole range of products like I mentioned. They have one eyeshadow palette, one brush set, one makeup bag. They did two highlighters, six lips, and three super shock shadows. I was really curious about all of those products, but I just decided to show some sort of restraint and went ahead and just picked up the palette. I am also wearing this palette on my eyes today. If you guys are curious, I basically used these two shades here. 
in my crease and then on my lid is this blue shade called Snuzzle. Not something I would typically wear on a daily basis but since I was going to be filming the My Little Pony review video, I tried to get as, you know, My Little Pony-esque as I could. I'm wearing a ton of highlighter from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Aurora Glow Kit. I think it pairs really well with this palette just to kind of do a really fun, kind of like a little bit different of a face look because I'm wearing like the purple highlighter and the blue highlighter from that palette. So it's a little bit different for me. I know it looks a little bit much, but I love it. And you know what? It's a YouTube video. It's not that serious. So this product costs $16, which is amazing. They do domestic shipping for $4.99 and you do get free shipping when you spend $30 or more. Now you guys, I am a sucker for free shipping so I did pick up a palette for a giveaway for you guys. I will talk about that more at the end of the video so stay tuned. Now I don't know any discount codes that you can use with this but usually Colourpop does do discounts so you definitely want to follow them on like Instagram and Snapchat. That's where you can usually find out if they have any deals going on. They sometimes do like free lipsticks or free makeup brushes with your purchase when you spend a certain amount. So they're really good about that kind of stuff as well. As far as the packaging goes, I think this is so adorable. It is the exact same size as their other palettes. I think these are so great because I think ColourPop really is the one that started like the mini palette trend. Everyone I think is going to catch on and start making smaller palettes. Huda's coming out with some of them. Colored Rain just came out with four of them as well. I think ColourPop is the one that really pioneered that because a lot of the time I felt like we've gotten really, really big palettes, especially when it comes to holiday and stuff. So I've been really enjoying these ColourPop palettes because they're so easy to just grab. And essentially I can find everything I need in these palettes. If you guys want to check out my review video of this palette, I will link it up in the cards. But this is honestly so good. Like it's the most basic boring palette for some people I would say. But if you are into that like every day, naked palette kind of look this is a really good alternate and the packaging is stunning and this is going to fit in pretty much anyone's purse you can take this on the go with you i took this traveling and i had no problem creating a bunch of beautiful looks with that again it's the same thing with this one i think this packaging is freaking adorable this is made in california and you get 12 shades and each shade is 0.08 grams of product not a ton of product, but honestly, when is anyone going to finish an eyeshadow? And I would rather have less eyeshadow for a reduced price than pay more money for not so much eyeshadow or even a ton of eyeshadow that I'm never going to get through. For example, the Natasha Denona palette. So, yep, I love this. My favorite is the middle row on here as far as shade selection goes. Like I said, these two colors like speak to me on a spiritual level. I feel like I can throw these in my crease very easily. I love this peachy shade as well. It's a beautiful transition shade, I think, for almost all skin tones. I also really like the shimmer shades. I feel like I can use this as a brow bone highlight or this as a brow bone highlight if I want a shimmer shade. And then if I want some kind of statement colors, I can use these blues right here. At first, I think it's hard for people to see this as an everyday palette. I don't really see myself wearing this as an everyday palette as well but some people like to do really fun looks like this all the time and I feel like I could use this on its own and create a look which is what I did today I, I created an entire eye look just featuring this palette so if you're into something more every day and these look a little too wild for you I would probably suggest this palette but if you're looking for something fun or you want to buy two of them and get free shipping I would definitely recommend this and you compare it with this one as far as suitable for skin tones i think this will work with a lot of skin tones i don't think you're going to be able to find a transition shade with every skin tone but i feel like you can always use this with another palette in your collection i don't think it not being a standalone palette for every skin tone is going to be a downfall like i said i feel like i can use this on its own that's what i did today i didn't use any other eyeshadow palettes but some of you might not find the appropriate crease colors for you and things like that and that's so okay because i'm sure we all have our go-to matte shades that you can pair with this palette i don't see a shelf life on this palette i would assume it's about a year that's usually what it is for palettes i ordered this on 1005 and the palette did arrive on 1010 
from ColourPop. Now this is cruelty free. I don't see that it claims to be vegan, but I'm not really sure if ColourPop is vegan. Let us know in the comments down below if you guys know if they are. Application I think is very nice. These palettes can be a little bit dusty. So if you are a beginner, just make sure you're dusting it off so you don't get a ton of fallout. I haven't had any problems, severe problems with fallout as far as these go. And I always use a, a wet brush when I use a shimmer. So that really helps make them look really beautiful and opaque. As far as wear time, I have no problem. I don't think the shades like blend together at all. I did this makeup look at like 7 a.m. this morning and I, it's about seven o'clock at night now. So it really holds up very well. So I really like this formula. I stand by it. As far as the swatches go, I will go ahead and link my swatch party video up in the cards so you guys can check it out. So the million dollar question, would I recommend this palette? As far as, you know, an everyday go-to eyeshadow palette, I wouldn't recommend this if this is what you're looking for. If, if that's what you're looking for, I would honestly recommend any of the other little palettes. I feel like these are definitely more my everyday shades. This one is a little bit different. This, this is like the Kat Von D Saint and Sinner palette. It's a little bit different. It's going to get you to think a little bit. Not everything is very clearly laid out. So you do have to think of like ideas of how to use some of these shades. And that's okay. I think this is, if you're going to take a risk, you might as well do it with this palette versus the Saint and Sinner, which is like $65. And honestly, that palette sometimes gives me anxiety. As far as this one goes, I'm like, mm, I, you know, at 16 bucks, I think I can get a decent look out of this. If you are an 80s baby or a 90s baby or, yeah, they came out in the 80s, you're definitely going to want to probably pick this up. Even as a collector's item, I am so pumped that I got this. I used to love My Little Pony, so I'm so, so glad I have this. It's a little bit nostalgic. And it's an excellent palette. I think they did a good job as far as quality. If you are looking for some of these shades in your collection, they also still have some fun neutrals, guys. So if you cover up this part of the palette, I think you're still gonna get some really, really beautiful looks. And uh, these blues, I'm just not drawn to them, but I think it's pushing me outside of my comfort zone. So I recommend this palette to anyone that wants to have a little bit of fun in their lives. I definitely feel like this is more of a summer palette, but you know what? You can pair this with other palettes and make it more fall and winter appropriate. Okay guys, that is everything I wanted to touch on with the palette and the review portion of this video. Now, okay guys, now that we've talked about the review portion of this video, let's go ahead and talk about the giveaway. Now I'm gonna do this like I did my last giveaway. I'm gonna keep it open for over a month because I want people that find this video to be able to you know, enter the giveaway and I want to keep it open for a long time because I don't have a ton of subscribers. So I feel like people that find my channel, you know, new will still have a chance to enter. So what we're going to do is the giveaway is going to start as soon as this video goes up. So it'll end November 30th. I'll go ahead and list all the rules down in the description box. You do have to be subscribed to my channel and then if you want me to enter you, just go ahead and leave a comment down below. Leave a comment just so I know to enter you. Just leave us some kind of comment so once I pick the winner, I will go ahead and comment back on your comment and get contact information from you guys. You don't have to feel like you need to leave like your email address and stuff. I don't want people to like get your email and start emailing you like spam. So just leave a comment with like a general comment about yourself or just say enter me or a unicorn or whatever you wanna do and I'll go ahead and enter you guys and then I will comment back on the winner's comment come December 1st. So I hope you guys are excited. This is just a little way for me to say thank you to you guys for subscribing to my channel. I'm at almost 750 subscribers as I'm filming this video. I'm so excited guys. I did set a goal for myself that I wanted to have a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. I'm not sure if that's gonna happen, but I felt my channel growing and it makes me so happy because I really genuinely love makeup and this is definitely a hobby of mine. So it is fun to get feedback from you guys. I'm really enjoying making friends with my subscribers and I love to talk to people about makeup. So if you have any questions or concerns or comments or anything, definitely leave me comments down below. Check me out on Instagram because I'm constantly talking about new product and I share like makeup of the day or things I'm testing or really cool sales that go up. So 
definitely check me out on Instagram. That's where I'm most active. And then, of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'm going to stop talking you guys' beer off. I hope you have a great rest of your week. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye.